to California now and that freeway inferno firefighters. They are finally getting a handle on that fast moving wildfire that jumped across a packed interstate and they're blaming drones, which were taking close up videos of those flames for delaying their response. ABC's Aditi Roy is in San Bernardino, California. And Aditi, some pretty strong words from responders to those drone operators. Definitely. Good morning to you, Paula. We're standing here at the command post for the fire. It's 45% contained right now. Firefighters here are taking a much needed break before heading back out to attack those last hot spots. One major roadblock they face at the peak of the fire, recreational drones like this one hovering over the blaze and delaying water carrying air tankers. This morning, new details about the battle between firefighters and drone operators during this raging inferno in Southern California. The fast moving flames fueled by desert winds. It's kind of hard to tell where the fire was going, so it was kind of crazy to, to try and outrun a fire. But in the midst of the firefight, a setback for firefighters. Officials say at 3 o'clock Friday afternoon, five drones were reported in the air, forcing authorities to ground six air tankers carrying water out of fear they may collide with the drones. They could either again uh, damage it, uh, the aircraft or worse, bring that aircraft down. At 3.26 p.m., officials say the tankers were flying again, attacking the blades from the sky. Officials say the drones delayed the air response by 25 minutes. During that time, the fire chewed through 200 acres, and some are wondering what else could have been saved. This woman lost her home in the blaze. Now she has some fiery words for the drone operators. They costed a lot of people a lot of, a lot of, um, heartache and you know it could have been a lot worse. The use of these remote control devices are on the rise. Authorities say it's the fourth time in less than a month drones have interfered with firefighting efforts, prompting the LA County Sheriff's Office to tweet this warning to drone operators. If you fly, we can't. I don't think the public understands how this impacts our pilots. The fire has burned through 3,500 acres so far. One major question that remains, whether or not those drone operators will be held liable for any property damage. Cal Fire investigators are looking into that matter, but for now, that answer still up in the air. Dan? Either way, though, let's hope that message gets through to the drone operators. Aditi, thank you.